Welcome to Introduction to Web Development with Wapala. In this presentation, we will discuss the basic concepts of web design for the absolute beginner. We will discuss What is a web server? What is Wapala? The App Connect and Server Connect frameworks. The basic web page. Basic components. Sample structure. Sample basic web page. What is HTML5, CSS and JavaScript? What are dollar underscore get and dollar underscore post parameters? Information flow and sending data from a form to the server. The basic web page is made up two sections. The head which primarily consists of parameters and links. Such as meta tags, CSS and JavaScript links. And the body which contains the page content such as text and images. At its most basic level a web page starts with the HTML directive. This is followed by a head tag. A tag will also typically contain a title tag. The title will end with slash title. The head will end with the tag slash head. The body will follow with the body tag. The body will have the page content. Finally the body will close with slash body and and the page will end with slash HTML. So let us look at our first web page. This simple structure displays a web page with the title, my first page and a message, hello world. So what is HTML5? HTML5 is a revision of the hypertext markup language, HTML, the standard programming language for describing the contents and appearance of web pages. The HTML standard however describes how HTML interacts with other technologies and can be seen as a broader definition of how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work in harmony. What is CSS? CSS is a set of definitions which can be applied to an HTML tag to define how it is displayed. You can see an example on the screen. In the simple example above the CSS file tells the browser that whenever it encounters a H1 tag it should show the following text at 20 pixels in size and in the color red until it encounters a closing H1 tag. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a highly efficient interpreted language used to manage web interactions internally. It should not be confused with Java which is an entirely separate and different language. JavaScript is a programming language commonly used in web development and is part of the HTML5 standard. More recently it is also used at server level where it forms the core of technologies such as Node.js, which we will use in some projects, Vue, React and Angular and several others. So what is a web server? Let us look at how a web browser and a web server interact at its simplest level. The web browser sends an HTTP request to the web server. TH web server processes that request and sends data back to the web browser, typically as a HTML document in the form of an HTTP response. And that response is then displayed in the web browser. So what is Wapala and how does it manage this process? Wapala is made up of two frameworks, App Connect and Server Connect. It uses industry standard web components controlled via a graphical user interface. And very importantly, unlike many mother low and no code platforms, produces native HTML, CSS, JS code which can be edited directly. App Connect managed the front end i.e. the presentation within the web browser. It is a JavaScript based framework. App Connect also supports other support frameworks such as Bootstrap and for mobile apps, Framework 7. The App Connect framework interacts with the Server Connect framework via $get and $post messages. Server Connect deals with all of the server level modules such as database storage, image processing, email, and many other features. Server Connect currently supports Node.js, PHP, and .NET. Responses from Server Connect are typically the form of a JSON response back to App Connect. So technically, but simplified, your browser sends a dollar underscore post or dollar underscore get message to Server Connect, which is processed by Server Connect within the web server, and then a JSON response is returned to App Connect with the required information. So what is a form? A form is part of the HTML5 specification it is enclosed in and tags within which are contained a number of input types with tag common input types are text or checkbox for example. The information is sent to the server by means of a submit action. So a very basic form would look like that shown on the screen. So what is a dollar underscore get parameter? 
You have probably seen dollar underscore get parameter many times in the past without realizing what they are. If we do a simple search using Google we see the search URL www.google.com forward slash search this is followed by a question mark and then information. Everything after the question mark are dollar underscore get parameters which are arranged in pairs such as Q equals Wapala. Each parameter is separated by an ampersand. You can see an example on the screen. The maximum total length of a dollar underscore get parameter list is typically 2000 characters. Obviously these parameters are visible to the user and capable of manipulation so we must be aware of that when using them and ensure sensitive information is not exposed. So what is a dollar underscore post parameter? Dollar underscore post parameters are produced by means of a form. Again you will have seen many instances of this when updating profiles etc on social media sites or e-commerce systems. Again dollar underscore post variables are pairs and have a name and a content and can also include objects such as images, documents etc. They can have much larger content, the limit being configurable within your server configuration. Dollar underscore post variables are not readily visible to the users and can be much larger. For this reason dollar underscore post is used to send things like images and videos etc to servers. So our information flow is. The web page form sends the dollar underscore post data to the web server. The information is processed and any database interactions carried out by server connect. The there is a response back to app connect in the form of a JSON response which app connect can process. So I think this is probably a good time to take a break from this and allow you to process the information in the presentation. Thank you for joining me in this presentation, there is much more information on the Wapala YouTube channel. I hope you will join me again on another presentation.